Matthew Stuckey here from Verity Baptist Church, Philippines, just giving you a quick missionary update. And uh, I didn't have one last week, so here's a quick uh, two-week update. So both last week and this week, we were able to get to 100 salvations, which is kind of our uh, base goal to get at least 100 salvations. This time of year, you generally have um, a little bit less in salvations due to the weather, but also it's just a bit more of a downtime. And right now there are some restrictions. For example, we're not really able to go to parks in Pampanga for soul winning. Uh, it just kind of depends on where you are in the Philippines. But we were able to get over 100 salvations. Um, you know, I don't normally give stories from soul winning. Maybe I should start doing that. But here's one from uh, Sunday that I thought was kind of interesting. Um, I was preaching the gospel to, well, I kind of walked up to this group of kids that ranged from like 7 years old to 10 years old. And, you know, when you talk to a group of people that are young, if you have experience with this, with, with churches, you, know, you, you give them the gospel, but you, you, you rarely are going to count them as saved because you really don't know with like a seven or an eight-year-old, you know, they can probably pray at the end, but are they paying full attention? Sometimes they can, but oftentimes they don't. But I just kind of walked up and this person just said, you know, what is your problem? And I was just thinking maybe I misunderstood him. Like, was he trying to say something else? I was like, what? He's like, what is your problem? And I could tell you it's kind of like the, you know, uh, class clown, so to speak, of the group. I said, Wolong problema. I said, <laughs> and I just said, you know, we're from Verity Baptist Church. And, you know, I, I, I preach the gospel in Tagalog for the most part, especially when there are people that are younger. But during the conversation, he was still just kind of yapping and everything. And I just kind of turned to him and, you know, I just said, you know, ano ang problema mo? You know, what is your problem, I said in Tagalog. And I kind of rebuked him in, in Tagalog because I know he's trying to be funny and everything. But he's just, you know, as we would say, very malikot. Just, um, anyways, kind of distracting from the gospel presentation. So I was able to, I had to kind of do that, though, to be able to talk to everybody. Then I was able to preach to about 15 different kids. But they kind of came in and out, so I didn't count anybody as saved. But a lot of people got to hear the gospel. So that was kind of interesting. But... In Pampanga, we, we kind of found a new area for soul winning, which we're kind of excited about. Uh, we've kind of done it for two weeks. One week was really receptive. Um, we got a lot saved. This past week, it was not super receptive, but it seemed like an area that would be. People are open to talk. It, it was a good area to take a family because there's not a lot of traffic, so you can take your kids out soul winning. So that was good. But anyways, in terms of sermons that have been preached recently, um, you know, I'm going through the book of Psalms on Sundays. You can uh, check that out. And the book of Genesis on Tuesdays. We have a rotating schedule on Wednesdays. This past weekend, I preached against uh, the religion uh, rock band of uh, Hillsong. You know, I preached a sermon, Hillsong Exposed, as they've been covering up a lot of uh, sexual perversion, pedophilia, rape, and a lot of different situations. So you can check that out if you want on our uh, website. And um, anyways, outside of that though, you know, we're, we're actually getting involved in a couple new ministries here soon. Um, I don't want to give specific details about it. You know, things are still kind of underway, but uh, things are going pretty well. Uh, things have been going really well in our ministry in Beacle. Uh, they're doing soul winning. They're getting people saved. They're having good attendances there. So we'll talk about the, that more in the next coming weeks. And we're trying to take that to the next level here. Um, but overall, things are going pretty well. But I will say that things are definitely uh, kind of strict here. It just, it just kind of depends. We had a, a church member with their family that uh, they, they had difficulty traveling on the weekend um, where basically they were stopped at a checkpoint. They weren't able to get into a jeepney and everything. There's still a restriction against having children um, in public here in the Philippines. And so they made the decision early on during the pandemic. Uh, they said they wanted to take care of the children. So it's illegal for children to go to restaurants or stores or to be out in public. And, uh, you know, in certain areas, kids are able to be out in public because uh, they're running around and everything. But they, they do prevent it on, you know, jipneys oftentimes, sometimes tricycles at checkpoints. They stop to check if you have kids and stuff like that. So it definitely makes it difficult. We've been waiting for a long time for them to loosen that restriction because that makes it very, very difficult for our families to come to church. It makes it more difficult with soul winning and things like that. So things are definitely very uh, magulo here, very disorganized, very kind of complicated and confusing. So just pray for us about that. But, um, you know, otherwise things are going uh, pretty well. We, we can't complain. Um, you know, God is definitely blessing us. and and just continue to be in prayer for our ministry that we can have free course to preach the gospel. And we do have a big election coming up in uh, May as our presidential election. 
I'm not normally big on elections, and obviously I believe things are in the hands of God. But kind of the big thing we're hoping for is that um, whoever becomes a new president will just kind of open things up um, in the economy and just for traveling and not be so strict with things like vaccines or with children. That is my personal wish and desire. But even if things stay extremely strict, we're still going to preach the gospel. And, uh, you know, no matter how many hindrances we have, we're going to do our best. So just continue to be in prayer for our ministry. And uh, thank you and God bless.